this is my hair with the conditioner and everything rinsed out. My hair feels so good. It feels so good. I actually feel like it got a little, a little life. It feels so good. So I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a bit. Right now I'm about to put some of this mimosa hair money hair honey in here from carol's daughter um i like it but i guess i don't use it enough to say that i'm in love my favorite hair moisturizer was um i think it was the ors olive oil mango butter mango butter or something it was so, oh my god, I love that thing. Put some of that on your hair, then you put some exorbitant olive oil on it. Your hair be moisturized in like four days. Especially depending on the style. Hair be moisturized for days. Looking at these videos, I'm realizing that my hair is also real thin around the edges. Like, girl, you don't have no edges, and nobody didn't even tell you y'all do. But I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I ain't got no edges. Man. That is not cute. A bunch, a bunch. I'm not that good at flat twists. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna add any like extra product or anything like that to my hair while I'm putting these twists in. Maybe when I'm done, I'll put like some edge control. Okay, that's cute. I mean, it's cute enough for me. It's so busy, girl. <laughs> so, all right, I might put like some. Um, I wish I had some jam. Oh, I actually, I think I got some flaxseed styling stuff from Aunt Jackie that I've never used. So that's exactly what I'm about to use. Okay, here we go. This flexible styling glue is more like if you want like a sleek ponytail or you know like how I was doing my <laughs> what you call it the other day and then the curling jelly is actually for a style it's like what I'm about to do now. So I'm going to take this one out and I got a little um, cup to put this in since it's a packet and this is what I'm going to use. So I've never used this. I hope it doesn't like um, flake up and all that kind of stuff, how these like curling jellies and stuff like that. But I think, was it? This is Aunt Jackie's. I think I used Aunt Jackie's before. They had a thing, a little purple. And it's more. 
more of this than the other one too. So I really only really need to use this like for the front of um, where I'm gonna have these like flat twists and um, maybe a little bit at the roots. Of the back because I'm gonna just put a regular twist right there so this is how much came out a good amount came out from that packet so all right so I'm gonna do this one I'm only gonna put like a dab a dab of it in and I use my rat right tail comb. I don't even honestly feel like taking this out. <laughs>
over here it has like no life so i think i might put some curl lights over here on the end like this is fine how it like kind of curls up but this is so damaged over here i think i'm gonna put some more lights on the end and then the back is just gonna be some twists so yeah this will definitely last me until i'm done with the rest of I have another of my best friend. She's doing the hair journey, so I'm definitely gonna just like once my cut my hair, it's definitely a hair journey situation. And I like I'm I'm gonna be for real about it, document it this time. And um, I can't wait to see my hair just say like in a year or just say like at the end of the year because I'm gonna cut it real soon. But my best friend is doing a hair journey. And I'm so proud of her for starting it and cutting her hair. And she's doing her thing. And she um she loves like weaves and stuff. You know, a girl gotta have her bundles. But I told her you can still wear your um you know your preferred hairstyle, your preferred protective style and just take care of your hair underneath that's all you gotta do it's all about how you take care of your hair underneath now obviously <laughs> in this moment i am not what i would say or i'm not what i would call myself the prime example <laughs> but um once i get my hair cut i'm definitely going back to the basics that got my hair to grow in the first place to where it was healthy enough to add color to to where it was maintaining y'all see in my little trailer that i have a full head of long thick beautiful bright red hair so i don't know i would have probably preferred something where i can um like put up I'll put some I got rod well I could just put all of them on I'm gonna take forever to dry place where I give it a little All right, so I'm just gonna keep twisting my hair all the way around, grabbing sections like so as I go. These are not perfect sections. These are not small sections. They're just random sections of hair because I don't feel like doing all of that. I'm already pretty much over it. <laughs> um, even though this is not a, this is not a hairstyle that takes a long time. Yeah, this is not a hairstyle that takes a long time, so. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I will come back and show y'all the final look. <clears throat> this is the finished look. Let's see what the back look like. 
look at the roots and branches and not too much going on. Take this flexi rod down. Well, I kind of feel like I want to put flexi wires all over it. No style is complete without hair jewels. Ooh, that's cute. it it came out pretty cute so this is gonna last me um this is gonna last me a couple of weeks until i get my hair done and when i get my hair cut and all that good stuff and start my hair journey all fresh for 2021 but we're gonna do a quick recap so i did a pre-poo um a typical purpose of a pre-poo is to add moisture into your hair before you use a shampoo that's going to strip your hair so but i use a pre poo as a conditioner as a protein conditioning treatment before i do any um, wash day so today i used shea moisture strengthening and restore treatment mask um y'all got my thoughts on that and then i just did for the conditioner i did this natural shea butter and pure coconut oil so i did a protein um, pre poo, and then I did a co wash with. And the purpose of a co wash is to just use a conditioner to add moisture to your hair. Y'all saw how dry and crunchy my hair was looking prior to this. Now it's all like you know, silky shining. And look at that, look at that shining. You know what I mean? It's all shining and stuff. So, yes, <laughs> the goal was achieved. Hair is you know. Protective styling is good enough. And um, thanks for, you know, thanks for another hair talk with Jay. Next time, I probably have something to actually be talking about. Or actually, the next time, it's going to be with my hairstylist. But, again, thanks for watching another hair talk with Jay. I'll talk to y'all in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.